Welcome to Noise Reel. Welcome to Noise Reel. Hi, welcome to Noise Reel. Welcome to Noise Reel. Welcome to Noise Reel at Brighton Music Conference 2016. You better get a move on. You can feel it. And we can all groove with it. You can do it. You can feel it. And we can all groove with it. You can do it. You can feel it. Okay, so I am here with Joe Caulfield and Andy. It's well. <laughs> uh, these guys both work at Northbrook College. Tell us a bit about why you're here today. We're here today promoting our new facilities. We've uh, just recently opened a new £2 million build uh, for new technical equipment and new facilities and new build rooms over in uh, West Durrington in uh, Worthing. So we're here to promote that basically. Okay, and are you also signing people up to your courses? We are signing yes. people up to courses. Andy, do you want to talk about the courses? I can do the courses. So we do entry level from level one right up to degree level. Uh, our most popular course being the level three music production and music performance courses. So they, we're coming with students who've uh, just come from school, so GCSEs, and they do subjects such as logic, introduction to logic, Ableton, sound design, performance techniques, and we now go under UAL, so students actually develop their own skills. So they make projects based on their strengths and what they want to do in the music career. Okay, fantastic. All sounds good. Now you guys, do you make music on a personal, professional level as well? I know you do, Andy. We were yes. talking about it earlier. What's your, what's your DJ name? My DJ name is Vanda Funk, yes. and I've been producing under that name for about four years. So making from Minimal House to uh, Chicago Deep House. We plays on Radio 1, support by Monkey, Hot Since 82. Very good. All right, doing all right. And what about you? Engineer mostly, so I'm more you? technical, behind the scenes kind of guy. Okay. I'm happy and kept busy doing that, so yeah, okay. all good. Fantastic. Have you had much success today signing people lots up? Of success, lots of youth coming lots of youths. in. Youths. Then youths coming in, and they're very excited about what we've got. They're, you know, signing up and ting. Signing up all over the place, yeah, <laughs> you know. Really nice, lots of girls on the tech as well, interested in the tech side of it which I really like as well, so that, that's changed over the last few years. Fantastic. Yeah, 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 so really enjoying it. Okay, wonderful, thank you so much for your time. Hi, I'm Seamus Haji. Uh, I'm on the advisory board for the BMC. I run my own record label called Big Love. Also uh, do a radio show on Juice Brighton. I live in Brighton, so I'm very heavily involved. And I DJ, produce and remix. I've been doing so for over 20 years. Yes, yeah, so I've just been doing a panel, which was a producer Q&A, which I was moderating with uh, Proc and Fitch, Rush Yallop, uh, Chris Todd from Crazy P, and Steve Mack from the River Masters. It was a really interesting discussion. Um, it's really about trying to give a bit of advice and some experience and knowledge and pass it on to people that are sort of budding producers that want to get into it, looking for tips on basically how to establish your sound, um, how to start and finish a track, also talking very much about hardware versus software with people working in the box or outside the box. Um, I guess these days most people are working in the box, but just looking at the pros and cons and, and the ways also that people uh, approach producing a track. Does it work? start with a, a sample idea or is there just a musical element that, that drives the idea in the first place? So it's quite early on at the moment for BMC, this is the first day, um, but what I've really enjoyed is just seeing people. Also it's a part, it's an opportunity to put faces to voices, people that you deal with in the business, also people I've not seen for a long time. And I'm also looking forward to some of the keynote speeches that are going on. Um, and I'm doing another panel later on this afternoon, which is a DJ Q&A with a really all-star lineup. I am here with very lovely Dan Parry from Dubzoo. Hey. How are you doing? I am doing fantastically. Love Good. life right now. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about Dubzu, please? What is it? Yeah, sure. So it's a free online platform for DJs to kind of manage all of their key activities and their whole DJ life. So it lets you upload to SoundCloud and MixCloud at the same time. It lets you uh, upload to Twitter and Facebook. It lets you get deals for all your DJ um, like retailers. So we've got like a good deal on Dex.co.uk, like 10% off of uh, anything over 100 pounds. The whole thing is just streamlining the service and making it easy for DJs to kind of like share the music that they do and just do what they love. Fantastic, I love that. So you're centralising everything yeah, they need. Exactly, yeah. so, am I allowed to say what I said yeah, earlier? Yeah, yeah, so it's like a kind of like a hoot suite, yeah. similar yeah, yeah, yeah. To be, for, for DJs. DJ, yeah. yeah, fantastic. So why the name Dubzu? Um, so my brother first started it up and he liked dubstep and okay. he liked animals. Yeah. Uh, so you kind of combine the two, combine the two. And uh, we love pandas and also because uh, good DJs are rare, just like okay. pandas are. 
So we pandas up in central everywhere, and we love we love good DJs and we love pandas. Fantastic. Same to pandas people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is this your first year here at BMC? Yes, 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 and um, it's really exciting. We uh, everyone's been really nice. There's been a lot of interest in the products, like yeah, and there's lots been lots of kids who seem really interested, and we're all about the future. Fantastic, yeah, it's really important. There's a lot of youth yeah, here today, it's, isn't yeah, there? So it's really, yeah. really good this year. Yeah. So what do you think of BMC for the industry? I think it's great. Like having a one central place for uh, all your DJs to go to and the producers, all the manufacturers around, for, just to talk to each other. Yeah. Like our whole thing is just like, be friendly. Yeah. Like be friendly. Be friendly, Be friendly, be friendly, yeah. be friendly. It's smile. <laughs> it's just... Now a little birdie told me you might be doing something collaboratively with the people next door. Yeah. Are you, can I say yeah. that? Uh, yeah, 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 you can. <laughs> what yeah. would that be? What are you hoping for? So, um, I'm not sure yet, so yeah. we're kind of keep, keeping things hush-hush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our whole thing is, like, like I said, be friends with everyone, yeah. try and come up with really creative things to showcase what both partners can do, uh, and like try and be the best that we can for yeah. everyone, yeah. Fantastic, where can people find out more about Dubzoo? Um, so go on dubzoo.com, uh, or follow us at Dubzoo World on pretty much everything. And okay. uh, look, just look out for pandas, because okay. you know, pandas are the best. Fantastic, I wish you really, really well with this project. Thank you Thank very you much, so much uh, lovely time. to meet you Have guys. a great day. Yeah, you Cheers. too, bye bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm James from Proc & Fitch, uh, production duo. We've been making and playing records together for about eight years now. Um, release our music on uh, various different labels like Tool Room, uh, Suara. Um, work with loads of different people over the years. We did two panels there actually. The first one was a, a production seminar and then uh, the second one was about uh, just DJing, building DJing sets. And, and I think yeah, this year this year's been great. The attendance seems to be up. Uh, there seems to be some, some really good artists attending and talking on the panels as well. So, yeah, I think it's, it looks like it's a great year this year for Brighton Music Company. Hi, my name is Matt Johnson. I'm the keyboard player from Jamiroquai. Um, I've come here today to play the Yamaha Montage, which is the new uh, flagship synth from Yamaha. It's a fantastic piece of kit. I've just been to Frankfurt the week before actually, playing in uh, the music mess, and now I've come here uh, to play this great uh, version of it in England uh, in, in the Brighton Music Conference Centre. So um, yeah, loving it here, checking out all the new gear and uh, that's it really. I'm Rob Harmon. Why are you here, Rob? Uh, to talk to some people, learn some cool things, and see some cool gear. Okay, so are you a student? Are you studying music? Or? Uh, I did. I'm now uh, trying to be a sound engineer in London. Ah. Yeah, it's all right. Fantastic. So what talks have caught your eye today? Um, my favourite one has been at the very start of uh, the day with um, Prolix. Uh, Ulterior Motive and Ice Call doing their native instruments machine gadgetry. It was amazing. Fantastic, yeah, cool. I like the demo ones as well, where you can actually see what's going on and they're breaking things down for you. 
So, um, are there any other talks you're looking forward to? Are you going to be here tomorrow? Um, yeah, I will be here tomorrow. Um, I'm looking forward to the Tom Milton interview, which is in like 15 minutes. So that's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> like, yeah, he's a legend. So looking forward to picking his brain. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Have a good BMC. Thank you. Cheers. So why have I come to BMC? Well, first of all, I live in Brighton. So from its inception, which was three years ago, um, I've been on the advisory board. And I think it's a positive thing. I think it's really good for the industry. So when I was asked to become involved, I was very enthusiastic about that, um, trying to give suggestions as to what we can do going onwards in the future. And obviously been doing the panels, uh, either talking on panels or moderating panels, and just being involved basically. Running my own label, uh, I find it really interesting to go and listen to some of the other panels in the, in the uh, professional side of things and just get some information. You're never too old to learn stuff in the industry. Noise Real here at Brighton Music Conference and I've run into Waxworks. How's it going, mate? Really, really good. How are you? I'm all right. I'm probably feeling better than you because you were supporting Seth Troxler last night. Yeah. How did that go? That went a bit late. It did, it did go on to the early hours, yeah. That's why I'm feeling a little bit fragile today. But that's, that's a sign of a good party, isn't it? So, yeah, it was, it was amazing. Seth absolutely killed it. He's one of my favourite DJs, so to get to play after him was one for the bucket list, you know. Bit of a dream come true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah. Quality. It felt a bit weird since, since I won the Fat Boy Slim competition. These things have just kept happening. Like I just got booked to play Wildlife Festival, which is at the Brighton City Airport in, yeah. in June. Disclose this Shoreham Airport. Let's call it yeah. by its real name. It Shoreham Airport. I'm being all like already with the brand yeah. and everything now, aren't I? No, but um, like literally that's behind my mum's house, you know, where I grew up and everything. So like to get to play at that to a, to a home crowd is going to be pretty intense, pretty amazing. Amazing. We're going to come on to the uh, Fat Boy Slim competition, but but what have you been doing at Brighton Music Conference? Um, just floating about, meeting everybody, catching up with lots of the, the Brighton faces because the last couple of years I've been working really hard in the studio. I know a lot of people say that, but I literally have. I gave up my day job, I've been chained to the studio making music, not getting out and seeing everyone. So great to come down and, and socialise and see everybody and lots of people coming in from out of town this year as well. It seems to be really growing this year. Hello, I'm Sapo from Steinberg. Um, I'm a product specialist for Steinberg in the UK and I'm here at the BMC. Uh, my panel was about how you can get a big sound in the box in Cubase using our own stock plugins and using just Creative EQ and our own stock plugins to make a, a sound that sounds quite powerful for a club sound. So it's quite electronic specific. So it could be drum and bass, bass and music house, uh, you know, breaks and stuff like that. It's all how you can do it within the box without using any third parties and without using any hardware. Yeah, the panel was good. Um, wasn't many questions. <laughs> We've got two questions, which is good, but I think everyone's more fascinated to know about mastering because it's really like a dark art that no one really knows about. And hopefully today I demystified and shown people that it's quite easy to do it in the box and to use Cubase as well. It's quite easy to use it within Cubase. So yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm looking forward to checking out some more Steinberg customers and seeing how they do things and what they're about, what other doors they use and how we can help them with uh, the looking at churning plugins, our VSTs and how what music they're into even. And I'm looking forward to actually checking out the other stands as well. Uh, we've got other stands that are near us, like Focusrite and stuff like that, and Yamaha. So we're going to see what they're about as well. So it's good to see our other people that are doing in the same business as us and to see how they're doing with their new products. So I'm a tourist most of the time. <laughs> this is my first time here. I think it's really important because I was at Music Messe in uh, Frankfurt last week and it was a really good vibe, but there wasn't as many people here in the sort of realms that they're doing stuff in. Now, in, you know, specific like Loop Masters and stuff like that are here. And that's good to see that the UK brands that they're here populating this place. So I think you would only get that in the BMC. I didn't see that in Music Messe, which is it was just really good. And for Steinberg, that was really great. But in the UK and BMC, my first one, I'm really impressed with how it looks. So. Uh, my name's Chris. I am one of the two owners and founders of Hospital Records. Um, we've been in business for 20 years uh, this April. And uh, yeah, just down here to speak at BMC. I did a. Um, panel about the rise and fall of EDM um, quite what that means I'm not entirely sure but uh, it was nice to have um, nice to have some friends on the panel uh, and moderated excellently by Mark Lawrence and yeah you know it, was, it felt like a good discussion I mean to be clear you know I think because because we were talking about EDM 
EDM is a very modern construct. EDM is a very uh, current idea. And of course, it's very important to recognize that, you know, for so many of us, I mean, dance music started in America. That's almost like one of the biggest ironies. You know, if we think about it, you know, we basically look to like, you know, a Donna Summer record or a Larry Levan production. And that's where so much of this emerged from. And it emerged from the classic era of disco music, right? But I think, poss- you know, and if you look at it, you know, you look at that community now and you think about the, the communities in Chicago and Detroit and New York and Los Angeles and Denver. There, are, Trust me, there are, there are people there that have been doing it as long as we have and know everything about it. But I think all we were trying to maybe indicate is that for this huge new wave of EDM fans, this is a perfect and a great opportunity for them to look around them, look underneath, look back, look forward, look sideways, and understand that there's a whole world of dance music culture that exists outside of a Calvin Harris record or a David Guetta DJ set. And I absolutely know that that process is happening and it will happen. And, you know, possibly, you know, for those of us on the on the panel, those, those of us at this conference, um, you know, we... Uh, I guess that maybe we take that history and that culture for granted, but for some of us, it's actually our responsibility to help deliver that. You know, like, you know, I I work in drum and bass, so, you know, part of what we do is, is all about educating people with what that means, with what jungle music means, with what dancehall music means, and like, you know, all that kind of good stuff that it's going to take time. Uh, but I think that there there are enough good people around that EDM world and that EDM culture that can ho- hopefully make that happen. You say things have been sort of uh, roller coastering since yeah. then, yeah. But I mean, tell us about the competition. And, and do you know why you won? Do you know why you chose your stuff? Um, Norman Kirk, I'm not lying, has been, has been one of my biggest inspirations since I was 14, 15 years old, since Better Living Through Chemistry basically came out. Um, I then lived in Canada for two years, I was working in a record store, and I was pimping out his vinyl to all the Canadian kids, you know, because he was a Brighton DJ, this was before he was massive, just because he was kind of blowing up. Um, and I just, I know, I, I feel that I, I know what Norman wants at his parties, I've been to all his events, I know what he's about as a DJ, you know, I'm, I'm a fat, fat boy fan. Um, so I just put my heart and soul into it and thought, what, what would I want to hear if I went to the Smile High Club from the first set? And, and that's what I laid down. I made a special intro that I, I took a couple of days making just the intro. The intro is cool, really cool. Um, and yeah, started off with disco um, and then kind of went into some like techie but funky house still and, and toughened it up at the end and then dropped something a little bit old school at the end. So. And what was the prize again? Um, I got to DJ with Fatboy Slim at the Smile High Club, um, Tobacco Docks. Um, I got a producer course from Point Blank London, a uh, mixed down course, which has been amazing, really, really good, recommend them. Um, and I'm in touch with Norman on, on Messenger and sending him some tunes and stuff now, so. Ah, sweet, so he's yeah, going to leak some things out there with some influences. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done another little remix, I don't know if you know the track, it's out at the moment, by Reton, Rinse and uh, Rinse Repeat. So I did an eat, sleep, rinse, repeat version, but only me and Norman have it. So the only place you'll hear it is in my sets or Norman's at the moment. Cool. Where can people hear this uh, remix that you won the competition with? Uh, it wasn't, it was the, the mix is on Mixcloud. Uh, the mix? Yeah, so just go to uh, search Waxworks Music uh, on Mixcloud and you'll, you'll see it there. Wicked. Thanks so much for your time, Mike. Cheers. Right. Thanks for having me. Today's panel was about uh, the state of dance media in 2016, um, including myself, Carly Wilford, uh, Wonderground, Decoded, and we have spent the last hour furiously debating the importance of the different strands of, of dance music media, which, uh, um, you know, as an industry is in a very healthy place. Uh, Carly made a great point, which is we are all the media now. That's certainly true because in the age of Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and websites, YouTube, Boiler Room, Mix Mag Lab, you know, there are more ways than ever to consume music and that information. Um, I also made the point that the power which used to be with the PRs and the record labels is now very much with the artists and to a degree the media channels because um, artists can 
basically tweet their hearts out all day long and previously you know you had to go to a PR or a label to get that information. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just different. Well BMC is like currently uh, is in fact the only dance music conference that happens in the UK. So you know, it's a massive credit to Billy and Shino and Mark and, and Lee and all the people that work really hard for this conference that they're prepared to dig deep and work really hard to put on something that is absolutely dedicated towards dance music. And it's something that, frankly, a lot of people in the UK kind of take for granted. Um, but I trust that BMC will continue to be supported. It will continue to be developed. Um, because it's a great opportunity for networking and you know and marketing and supporting the the huge like landscape of, of, uh, of dance music not just in the UK but in Europe uh, and beyond um, and you know and, and it's, it's put together with love and it's put together with, with with real meaning it's the first time for me at BMC I was I was really shocked. I had no idea how, how, how many instruments, how many things you can see. It's beautiful. I, I, I can't wait to come here next year, honestly. In, in the UK, I don't think that there is a more important uh, um, conference for, for the music game, for the music business. And um, coming here, I've seen so many faces. It's been not only an occasion to meet some of the fans and uh, clients, but also to make some important uh, connections and uh, everybody's here, so this is the Hangout.